Hey, how's it going, Gemini? Welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for joining me today uh, for this little reading. I'm doing an April Fool's reading for you guys. I'm gonna use the Gilded Tarot deck. Um, I like to do like whenever there's an event or I, I like to do readings. So as soon as I, I realized that April Fool was coming up, I went and researched a tarot card reading and it's kind of cute. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and I, I hope it resonates and that you have fun with it. So, and let me know what you think down below in the comments. And definitely if you have ideas for readings, guys, let me know because I'll research them and if, if I resonate with them, I'll post them for you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna shuffle the deck here a couple more times. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already and you'd really like to be um, tapped into guidance through tarot, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, just let me shuffle the Gilded Tarot a couple more times. I, I have to shuffle until the guides are like, okay, you're good, Robin, you can go ahead. So we'll do one more. And then we're gonna look at what you should be aware of for April Fools. And this card keeps coming up. It's funny how, you know, no matter how many times I shuffle the deck or, you know, sometimes the same card sort of runs through readings. Um, so this one has popped up a couple times and this is the Seven of Cups. And it does mean that you have lots of options. So you should be aware that there's lots of options. Um, but this one also, it, it kind of talks about being spread too thin. Um, not everything is what it appears to be. You know, sometimes things are really shiny on the outside, but don't have the best like inside, kind of like people, you know, sometimes people are really beautiful, but they're kind of like dark and ugly on the inside. So it's kind of saying to me, be careful what you ask for. Um, you know, because whatever you ask the uniform, the uniform the universe for you're going to get it so just be careful watch your desires so how will someone try to fool me about this so there could be somebody that is presenting themselves a certain way in your life right now um and i don't even know what's wrong with people that they try to do that but it's like with the two of pentacles it's like there's a bit of a distraction going on um I'm gonna give you guys a quick example like like the last person I dated I don't know why he just lied to me about everything about his employment situation um, you know just kept up this um, charade that he was working and he would even like get dressed and go to work as if he had a job but meanwhile he had lost it six months before i even met him so it was really strange you know so i feel like this is going on for you it's like somebody is dressing up a situation and making it look like yeah everything's fine you know and distract you over here and um so if you've you've just met somebody and they seem like they're a little bit too good to be true chances are it might be and they could be using like clever banter or nice outfits or you know maybe flash car or something like that but then you'll notice that there's sort of cracks in the exterior so pay attention to that and how can you ensure that they do not get away with this trickery this is fascinating that this card came up right now we've got the hanged man so this can really happen you know people get scammed all the time and this happens in the dating world and just through everything um you know people they will try and polish things up and make things look like it's better than it is and represent things in a way that makes you feel a certain way so you're sort of drawn into it but here's the hanged man and he's saying you need to sort of pull yourself away from the situation and look at it practically um, and if you feel like some, like I said before, if you feel like something is too good to be true, it probably is. So take a step back and take a breath and maybe take a day away from communicating with this person, especially if you feel like you're being lured in and it's happening very quickly. This can happen with business or romance or just even friendships, you know, um, there's people that are just such leeches you know what i'm saying so what will ground me during this day of trickery this is interesting so you've got the two of swords so right now you have two twos in your reading so that's an angel number two two obviously so sorry i got stuck there 
So what is going to ground you here is you're going to have to take a step back and make that decision, which is literally what I was just saying. And this card came up to enforce that um, theory that I was getting from the spirit guides. So two of swords is being unable to make a decision one way or the other. So if you're having a feeling about something, um, like if your gut is like giving you whispers of intuition, but then your heart is going, oh, well, I really want to do this. But then your brain is like, um, girl, you know, so you're going to have to sort of settle down and maybe journal write about something and distance yourself so that you can really assess um, and maybe call somebody out on something and see how they react to that because it does make a difference how people react. So it does look like you have some thinking to do here, guys, with the two of swords and the hangman looking at things like upside down, like turn the situation, like flip it flip it upside down, like flip it on its lid and see what's going on really. And, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Like, you know, it's more important to be true to yourself than worry about hurting somebody's feelings because you're suspicious, you know, the right person doing the right thing will come to you with the right responses. So that was a lot of rights. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little April Fool's reading and I'm going to leave it there. So good luck with your situation. Take care. Bye.